Before conducting any maneuver, every pilot must check the area for other traffic by conducting clearing turns. The basic idea is to visually scan for traffic while making two 90-degree turns in either direction, left or right. This helps you maintain a safe operating distance from other aircraft or hazards that may be near you. In addition to a visual scan, we will check the ADSB traffic display and make a radio call to announce our position to other aircraft monitoring the practice area radio frequency. It is equally important to listen to the position reports of other aircraft to be able to locate and avoid them as well. Before performing clearing turns, you must ensure that the airplane is set up and ready to perform the maneuvers by verifying that the fuel selector is on both and that the mixture control is set as required. For the first 90-degree clearing turn, visually scan the area to the left and to the right of the aircraft. Next, select a visual landmark off the wingtip in the direction of the turn to be executed. This will be your 90-degree reference point to turn towards. In this example, we will turn to the left. Before beginning the turn, we should first lift that wing slightly to be able to see airplanes that may be hidden by the wing. Roll into a 30-degree bank turn to the left and continuously scan the area above, below, and ahead of the flight path. After 90 degrees of the turn have been completed, roll your wings level so the nose is pointed directly at the reference point. For the next turn, it is up to you whether you want to turn left or right. Once you decide, visually scan the area to the left and right of the aircraft and select another visual landmark off the wingtip in that direction. Again, before turning, lift the respective wings slightly to check for any airplanes that may be obscured from view. Enter the second 30-degree bank turn in that direction and again continuously scan the area above, below, and ahead of the flight path. After 90 degrees of the turn have been completed, roll your wings level again on the selected landmark. Because the practice areas can become congested quickly, it is important to immediately commence the next maneuver while the area is still clear. If you need to wait to do a maneuver, just do another set of clearing turns. When performing a turning maneuver, be sure to maneuver the airplane into the area that you previously cleared. For example, if the first clearing turn was made to the left and the second was made back to the right, then any turning maneuver should be made by turning back to the left. This will ensure that the airplane remains in the clear area. Clearing turns are an important first step in every maneuver. If you ever identify an airplane or other hazard that presents a collision threat, Abort the maneuver and maintain a safe distance from them. Move to another area or wait for the hazard to pass and then begin clearing turns again. If the practice area frequency is silent, you may be tempted to skip clearing turns. Remember, there may be other aircraft in the area that aren't making position reports or aren't on the appropriate frequency. There is never a reason to skip a clearing turn. As the pilot, you are responsible for the safe operation of your aircraft. Never rely on other aircraft to avoid you.